House Fix with Rick. On this version of House Fix with Rick, we're going to talk about one of the cutest pests you have around the house, chipmunks. If you've got chipmunks all around your home, yeah, they're cute. Thanks to Disney's Chip and Dale, everybody thinks they're cute, but they're not. They're a big pest and a big problem around the homes. They dig little holes right along the foundation of your home, allowing water to go down there. And if you're in the northern climates, it allows freezing to occur, causing pressure against your basement walls. And that can cause a lot of leaking issues in the future, as well as under slabs. They can cause breaking up of the slab of your home. So chipmunks, they're cute, but you want to get rid of them. There's a couple ways to do it, and I like to share a couple of the most popular ways that, that uh, I like to tell people about. Number one is they'll use a drowning procedure, which I don't always like because it just seems a little bit nasty. Some people will like to live trap them and, and release them somewhere, but I tell you, some Amish friends of mine hate chipmunks because they've been released out into their farms and their horses have actually bro broken their legs into a chipmunk holes. So don't do that. We need to get rid of them. Think of mice, okay? I know they're cute, but let's get rid of those chipmunks. One way is to take a water trap. What we do is we take a little bucket. You find a, a step or an elevation around the home. Maybe you've got a log pile and they tend to run around the log pile. As you know, they tend to scurry right along the edges of different areas. And we wanna take uh, an area that maybe the uh, chipmunks are at. We take a bucket of water filled only slightly with water and then we make them a nice diving board. We take some, uh, uh, if you have some bird seed, but certainly pumpkin seeds or, or uh, uh, sunflower seeds work great. Put a few sunflower seeds on the diving board to lure them in. Then take some of the seeds and put them in the water below. They see those seeds, they grab those up there, they dive in and then they kind of drown. And that's kind of a, uh, maybe a not humane way to do it, but it is very effective and a lot of people will use that because you have all these products on hand. Another pro product that I like to suggest and my, one of my favorites is something called a better rodent trap. It's basically a mouse trap, they make it larger, but it allows it to be opened up and it's nothing more than an alligator clip kind of a function on the back end and you don't have to ever touch the animal once, it's, once you have it go in there. So we take this trap and we try to set it along the edge of the obstruction or along the house, along the runway of those uh, uh, chipmunks. So in this case, we would take a chipmunk trap and we'd like to set it right along the edge of the house, right along there. And we don't want to get other animals into this. I, people have baited them. They've used all kinds of things from apples to peanut butter and you can, but I don't want to lure other animals in. Sometimes I've had people complain that they'll have a bird get into the trap. We want to minimize that. So I just basically do not bait my rodent trap. And this is my favorite. One weekend I caught 14 chipmunks with one trap. And these are available at most home centers or hardware stores, a better rodent trap. Now, how does it work? You, pay, you take your little chipmunk, he runs across the foundation, hits into the trap like that. Okay, now we gotta get rid of it. People don't like to touch the animal. So here's that animal. We get a little plastic bag that we've had left over from the grocery store or the uh, hardware store. We take that rodent, we drop it into the thing. We reset the trap, it's already reset, just like an alligator clip, set it back up against the foundation, tie up our bag, dispose of our little rodent, and we're done with another house fix with Rick. Don't know what to buy or where to get help? Check out our recommendations below. No animals were harmed in today's filming of House Fix with Rick.